Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is called Steel. We are just outside of the main building because that's what we walked through all the way mm. on the last episode after we got the... Yeah, I think it's pleasant news that we have two new members in class. Crow, because of his, uh, let us say, tardiness <laughs> during last year. Well, he needs to pick up some extra classes and the intelligence spy maybe <laughs> milliam as well which i am looking very forward to because she does seem like a very very nice character to have uh, in our classroom so for now uh, we still need to pick up her notebook at student council but that's where we want to right. end our walkabout over the academy before heading back to the dormitory so let's start just by uh, well, i think just let's start by going to the engineering and then just go clockwise until we reach the student building of course and having said that I am very curious to see if there are some new additions to the orpment uh, shop oh hey Reen how's uh, Crow fitting in with your class <laughs> perfectly it's like he's been there since our first day <laughs> that's good to hear huh. well make sure you get some use out of him he might be lazy, but he knows what he's doing when things get serious. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Now that we have Milliam to worry about, I'm sure we'll be relying on him quite a bit. Feel free to ask us or Toa if you need anything too. Just in case that uh, Crow gets a little bit of a handful, they know things about him, so we might be able to rein him in. We'll try to help you out wherever we can. Thanks, I will. Believe it or not, Crow was actually part of the Arcus testing last year. You should have no problem forming combat links with him. He'll be pretty useful if you can wring uh, some work out of him. I can imagine it being so. Oh, I ended up having to put that suit of armor in storage for now. Mostly because I just wasn't getting anywhere examining it. That's a shame. I was hoping it'll help us crack some of the mysteries surrounding the old schoolhouse. I'm sorry I wasn't more helpful. I do plan on going back to it now and then, just one of the off chance I end up making some progress. In the meantime though, you might want to keep exploring the old schoolhouse for yourselves. Well, we were planning on it, cause like I said, we are two loads away from the bottom, and I'm really curious to see what's there. I do plan on getting back to it now and then, just the off chance I end up making some progress. In the meantime, keep exploring. Alright, shop shop. Ooh, we got the new one. Mirage Elemental Master Quartz. Damages of uh, offensive art is raised, but more EP is consumed. So, a plus minus situation. You get some extra damage, but it will cost you more. Uh, Silver Thorn, Grand Press, Hydro Cannon. Doesn't seem like a bad one. I do want it though. <laughs> uh, yes, let's just go with the standard Civet Mass Exchange. Do we have ingredients we want? Yes, we do have ingredients we want to sell. Yes, let's keep it on 30. Damn. We did a lot. Yeah, it's not the most cash we get uh, out of it, but it is a, s a steady supply if you put it all together over all the time. Good. All right. So let's see. Else. And yes, we finally got the HP two. Attack is still on 2, Evade is still on 2, Action is still on 2, Impede on 2. So I think it looks like mostly just from the top of my head I will need to look into it a little bit closer. Mostly the HP 2. So since we have plenty, so we just buy 2. So now there are 2 people that are wearing it at the moment. Ah, and the new companions aren't on the list just yet. So 
so <laughs> we still probably need to open a few of uh, their slots as well. All right, perfect. Let's have a quick old look at the old school house. It's more the Sea of Salinas there. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure the door will not open for us. <laughs> or if someone's hiding in the bushes, you never know. The doors to the old schoolhouse are locked. As they should be. Uh, at least for the time being. Check out the gardens. See if a uh, feast plant. Ooh, it is. It's finally getting flowers. I'm sure she'd be happy about that. I decided not to go home for summer vacation. I just couldn't bring myself to leave all the flowers behind after all. <laughs> These flowers are really coming into their own too. These flowers are growing quite nicely. I wouldn't go home at a time like this. Hmm, looks like my plants are growing up pretty well now. You can do it, flowers. Yeah, just like she's opening up to uh, the entirety of the class, so are her flowers. The stems of these flowers are growing larger. Mm-hmm. Oh, Edel uh, really is gorgeous, isn't she? And that body of hers is like, oh, wow. I just have to get my hands on it. Otherwise, what's the point of even being in this stupid club? Uh, gardening, perhaps? Hmm. This is actually the first time I even realized that uh, Vivi had this inclination. Alright. Does she know Angelica? I wonder. <laughs> I just have to get my hands on Edel's body or there's no point in being in this club. The question is, how? Go to a uh, summer beach vacation resort? Like in a break time or something? That usually what happens uh, in anime, so there will be a good chance to get it all sorted. Alright, a few new fishing uh, tries. First five here, and of course five back in uh, the main town. <gasps> come on, big fish. Oh, come on, chop, chop. Yes. Well, it is a slight confirmation that fish we can get in the regions we've been to are now showing up here as well. Which is very good. And this one is for the north. But the only downside of it is is that uh, the pool of potential catch is gonna get so big that you need to get really lucky to get the few ones that you missed. So the best thing is still getting them while you are in their respect respective regions. Oh yeah, we got a new rank, didn't we? So... Uh, maybe after this one, uh, they just finished this one up. I uh, already uh, done so many. I was thinking we might be able to get better fish with a better rod, if there is a better rod, of course. Now that's a catch. Really nice. What even is this? Well, as long as we get something, it's always better than nothing. Alright, time to head over to the swimming pool. This is the girl's locker room. If I walked in, my death would be swift. Blissful, but swift. Yes. And for no particular reason, we keep on trying. Hmm. 
Hmm, you seem more comfortable with what you're doing now, Monica. Perhaps you should try increasing your distance. That said, there's no need to rush. Your pace should be entirely up to you. <laughs> I know, one step at a time. Thanks to Laura, I'm slowly getting better and better. Maybe the 50 arch dream isn't as far off as I thought. Monica has really improved in her streaming lately. She might reach her goal of streaming 50 arch any day now. Hey. Set your goals and obliterate them. That's all you need to do. Look, Alan, your natural strength is your greatest asset. Pressure myself with uh, his lack of it with multiple strikes. If you want to beat him, you've got to find the right moment and take him out in one big powerful strike. Do it like I taught you and things will work out just fine. Got it. Patrick showed up at every single practice since Friedel destroyed him last month. But Alan's not looking too shabby himself. He might even catch up to Patrick before long. Hey, motivation is all you need. Hmm. With Patrick gone, I've got the chance to close the skill gap between us. He's gonna be in for a shock next time we face off. Oh yeah, I heard that the Wind Orchestra will be holding a concert. Bridge is going to be one of the performers too, so naturally, I really want to go and watch. Then do so, Ellen. Close that gap between you two as well. Looks like Ellen has uh, two major uh, competitions coming up. One uh, against Patrick and the other one for Bridget's heart. At first, I was planning on going home like the rest of the upper class students. But then I remembered how bored I got when I did it last year. I guess I'm more suited to staying behind and spending some quality fencing time with the other club members. I rather spend my break with a sword in my hand. Alright. I love the dedication. And of course I think Ellen appreciated as well. No one up here? Good. Even though there are less people here, because a lot of nobles are on break, it still does feel like normal, like there are still plenty of people out there. Yes. This is our most important quest in the entire game so far, giving her milk each and every time we can. This is gonna be a fat kitty. <laughs> Seems so happy. Maybe I'll bring her some more another time. Uh, I do wonder if there isn't a effect by doing this as many times as we can. Even if there isn't, I still wouldn't do it just because it's nice for Celine. But I wonder if at the end of the game we get like a certain scene if we've done it a certain amount of times. Basically like befriending Celine and then get a result. Like getting a different text with Sarah when we were in Heimdall because we did her bonding event. Which is something I'm looking very forward to tomorrow with our free day. Just seeing which point are we gonna get. Are we gonna get Milliam Crow? Which will we pick? <laughs> I will be uh, challenging Alyssa tomorrow. Yes, she may have out uh, sprinted me and indeed she scores better on the midterms. But all of that is in the past. The time is nigh to show her what the great Ferris world is truly capable of. I will be victorious tomorrow, no matter what. The time is nigh to show her what I, Ferris world is truly capable of. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Hmm, Theresia's uh, parents told her to come right home for summer break. Apparently they're none too pleased that she's hanging out with a commoner like me. Sounds like she got a real tongue lashing for it when they first found out too. But even after that, she never stopped talking to me. <laughs> you don't make friends as true as Theresia every day. I know it's not even a practice day, but first dragged me out here anyway. Hard to believe this is the same girl who didn't want to bother to clean up not too long ago. Emily, let us just leave the past in where it belongs. Well, that's what rivalry can do to you. You want to be better than the other one, and then you leave petty things behind just to make sure you get where you need to be. I totally get that. <laughs> I 
Ah, mark my words, William has yet to show her true colors. And I have every intention of exposing her true reasons for joining our class. Well, I think maybe you're worrying about it too much. And perhaps you're not worrying enough. Our class is full of good souls, far too naive and accepting for their own good. At least one of us needs to look out for others with a critical eye. And I happen to make a rather fine skeptic. Well, I suppose having several points of view to consider is a good thing. But at least try not to make her feel unwelcome, okay? Ah, fine. I have every intention of exposing her true reasons to joining our class. The only question is whether or not she'll make it an easy task. No, I'm pretty sure if you ask Milliam, she'll just tell you she's gathering information for the intelligence division. Because it is clearly that she's there as an extra line for Osborne to have within class 7. Why not? Is it necessarily a bad thing or does it make Milliam a bad girl? No. It's just how things are. It's a bummer that Lambert and Whitecomb are on vacation. Horse riding's been getting more and more fun for me lately, so I wanted to get another lesson in. Oh well, I guess I just have to wait until he gets back. Hmm, if you so desired, I would be willing to spare the time to teach you. Hmm, <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. You're the last person I want help with. Could it be that Paula might be interested in uses? Or do you think it's just a part of that rivalry thing that's going on between commoners and nobles? I'm hoping to surpass Jusis eventually. It wouldn't be satisfying to beat an enemy who's helping you out, you know? <laughs> Alright. No one behind the building? Good. And uh, assuming that the auditorium is closed, we only have like two places left to go. Uh, still, have the Summer Festival food stalls uh, on your mind? Nah, that's not it. I've been helping with the Vada at the Grand Market for years now. No food stalls are like one of the uh, things I live for. Now I'm just like, I want to set uh, one up now. First multiple jobs, now a food stall? <laughs> you can never tell which is the blow next, can you? Hell no. But that's the interesting thing about Becky. Next to her accent, of course. Ah, uh, no. I completely forgot, that, but I actually love food stalls even more than I love working. Alright. Well, I say, if you love it, go for it. I'm sure there's no one here in the entire academy that will stop you unless your grades drop. I can believe that terrorists showed up in Heimdall of all places. The capital isn't terribly far from here, either. It sends chills down my spine, doesn't it? I can't imagine there's anything worth attacking here in Trista, though. Even so, it's just hard to think uh, how close the terrorists were. Nothing interesting here? Up and coming military specialty uh, personnel. That's what's being trained here, so yeah. It would be a good place to just blow up, you know what I mean? Ooh, a new Mia corner. Generational conflicts. Alright. That one we already had. Okay, so basically this one is full now, so then I'm gonna add more here. If this is full, they're gonna add this one here now? <laughs> we just gotta keep on watching. Hmm, Instructor Thomas recommended that I read a few history books, but I'm not just going to ignore a teacher's advice. Believe it or not, I'm really enjoying them. It's interesting to read about all the struggles people used to go through. Yeah, and we're learning from the past, we can prevent it happening in the future. Or at least that's the general idea behind uh, history. Because they do know what they're saying. If you forget your past, you're doomed to repeat it. You're telling me Crow's a first year now? I told him, man, I said, Crow, you need to put more effort into school or there will be trouble. 
but given how much time I spent looking at horse race magazines with him, maybe I was sending him some mixed signals. Uh, I hope it's not my fault that he ended up losing uh, a year like that. Tomo's gonna kill me if it is. No. Crow is responsible for his own failures. You cannot blame someone else for that. Ooh, new chronicle. Get it. And these new or old. I think these are all old weapons. Except this one and this one. The question is, is this the one that they are wearing right now or not? No, I'm not going to buy them. I do want uh, them to be in our party if we go to the old school house because they're new. I want to see how uh, great they will uh, function there. But I'm going to assume uh, it's going to be Breaker Arm Plus One and Trickster as well. Seeing as the rest is carrying this too. On the other hand... This is the only place where we can buy them, right? You know what? We'll just wait till tomorrow during a free day, because before we head into the old school building, we should have everyone in uh, our list of the party, right? I think after tonight at the dormitory, when we hand over the notebook, I think they should be joining us. And then we can just see what they are carrying. Same thing with the clothing. Oh, my son works over in Heimdall, so that terrorist attack had me pretty shaken. Still, he's alright, so that's all that really matters. It's terrifying to think that something like that happened so close to the Imperial Palace. I was pretty shaken when I heard about the terrorist attack, but at least my son stayed safe. I don't think I'll uh, rest easy until they find the people behind it, though. Mm -hmm. Nothing too strange. Mm, I guess all the second years are thinking about what they want to do after they graduate. What will we be doing this uh, time next year? I feel like I'm the only person in the club without a clear-cut goal that they're out to achieve. What will I be doing uh, this time next year? Well, you still have time to decide. I ended up going back home during summer break. It was great to see my mom and little siblings. They're all happy and healthy too. If I want to make life for them as easy as possible, it's about time I decide what I want to do with mine. Ah, yeah, well, that's what you do when you're second year, isn't it? Trying to see where do you want to go after this? Do you want to go in the military? In the private business? Maybe you want to become a Jaeger? Oh, that crow Armbrus really is a fool. I have no idea what Toe and Angelica see in him, I really don't. I can't believe Crow has to repeat a year. <laughs> Never saw that coming. But now that I think about it, I do remember a period of time where he skipped most of his classes last year. So... Now the question bags. Why did he skip so many classes? That's gonna be interesting. Hopefully during one of our bonding events with Crow, maybe we'll get some more information on that. I bet the noble students are kicking back, relaxing in their giant mansions with cold drinks in their hands right now. Meanwhile, us commoners are all slaving away in this heat. <laughs> the more I think about it, the madder I get. And still, it's just in your mind you're the one getting upset about it. Because you allow yourself to. Hmm. If it wasn't for iced tea and other frosty beverages, I'd probably collapse on my way home. I don't know how everyone in the sport clubs can run around in this heat. I really don't. It's hard to believe there was a terrorist attack in Heimdall. I won't forget the name, Imperial Liberation Front. Anytime soon, not while my son is over there. Bunch of troublemaking lowlifes, I hope they're arrested soon. Well, if it's up to us, yes. <laughs> It sounds like the capital was in chaos. A bunch of trouble making lowlifes. I hope they are arrested soon. Alright, let's hope uh, our fishing club uh, mentor is in. Or would he be home as well? Nope. Oh, you're a black angler now. I'm impressed that you earned the same title as me in such a short time. Should have expected that from a fishing pro like you, though. 
I'm going to need to fish even harder, so you don't overtake me. <laughs> I can't say it's a bad feeling to be so highly regarded. It took me a while to get the hang of it, but now I feel like I've gotten really hooked on fishing. See what he did there? Hooked. <laughs> you know it's taken hold when you start with the fishing puns. <laughs> you need to enjoy these things. And now that you're a black angler, I can trade you some even nicer stuff. Keep up the pace, Reen. I'm so proud of you. Aw, thanks. I won't let you down. I'm technically a noble, but nobody's ever asked me to go home for the summer. Not that there'd be any point anyway. My dad's always off on his fishing trips, and my brother still is over in Crossbell. So, I might as well stay here. Ah, the Lake Lord Star. An exceptionally sturdy rod that can withstand the mightiest of catches. Ideal for catching large fish. And we got a new one, Flood. HP 800, EP attack. Cannon, Crystal, Flood and Athelas. Is it like a higher revive? I still want it though. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gonna go into probably Elliot's uh, makeup. I heard that Crow got switched to class 7. It makes you wonder. Wait, don't tell me. He did it for love? Oh, which of the boys could he be gunning for? So many possibilities. I don't even know where to begin with that. Crow must be having uh, changed classes to be closer to his beloved four years. Oh my heart, I can take it. Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna be a fan uh, fic out with Crow and it's supposed to love her in class 7. I'm betting she thinks it's gonna be Rain. <laughs> oh, wait, let's uh, check upstairs. I'm pretty sure all normals are gone. Yeah, they should open up the door when there are no normals, just so the rest of the commoners can check out what all the fuss is about. Oh, we're having a match with the upper class uh, club tomorrow. This time, our club is on the line. We can't afford to lose. It's possible that my father might have had a hand in William joining our class, given that she's, he's on the board of directors. I doubt he knows much more about the intelligent division plans than we do, though. I think this likely helped uh, facilitate her transfer to the academy, at the very least. They seem like they know each other, too. Hmm. Well, his close friendship with the Chancellor may have deepened deeper implications than I thought. By that as it may, the chess club upcoming match is my primary focus right now. Stefan has become a far better player than when I first met him. I don't want this dedication and effort to go to waste, so I'm planning on going all out tomorrow. Just one more match, Mike Mekias. We're winning tomorrow, no matter what. I'm rooting for them, definitely. Hmm. I stumbled across a note entitled The Seven Mysteries of Thor's Military Academy when I was cleaning. It makes you wonder who could have left it there. It has a rather ominous air about it, doesn't it? <laughs> Even stranger, its contents differ from the seven mysteries I'm familiar with. <laughs> how intriguing. Yeah. No matter how many times I talk to her, Beryl just creeps me out. <laughs> I like her though, but still creeps me out. Oh, you're looking for Fidelio? He's gone home for the summer. It's my job to take care of the club while he's away. Right, I think it's about time to head into town. Can't waste the opportunity to try to take some pics of girls enjoying their summer break, right? I have a feeling Rex hasn't learned anything about the incident. Well, Toa said she wanted me to come to the student council room. Knock. The door's open. Come on in. Sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, Reen. Not at all. Sorry for making you come all the way out here. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. 
That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a little extra going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Let me guess. The transfer of Milliam and, of course, Crow. <laughs> Notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who needs it. All right, I'll be sure to pass this on to Million next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the academy? Hmm. All I know is that she came with a recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division. Really, you know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Apparently, it's something similar for Million. We can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Yeah. Very suspicious, isn't it? Well, to be honest, I do think it comes from uh, Chancellor Osborne, but with the approval of His Majesty. Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's what's unusual. Anyway, because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing. Yeah, maybe the Chancellor has some dirt on him, uh, His Majesty in order to make sure he gets, gets that approval each and every time he needs it. So that's how it is. But even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class too. <laughs> Yeah, I was just as shocked as you when I found out. I knew he was a habitual class cutter, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. Oh, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. Whoa there, I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. Hmm. Maybe he did it on purpose, knowing class 7 would be created and he needed a spot in there. Or is it giving um, too much credit to Crow? But as long as he's active and engaged with his class 7 work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah. Still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. I have the same feeling, Reen. Am I right? Well, yeah. The principal thought placing Pro in Class 7 might be beneficial for the rest of you, too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Pro did that? Voluntarily? It might be kind of awkward having a second year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13 year old girl. Yeah, I get what you mean. So she really is 13 then? Yeah, she scored really well on her entrance exam though, so I think she can handle the curriculum fine. So young and hyper intelligent. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> she might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. <laughs> now where have I heard of someone like that before? <laughs> oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, Alright. Excuse me then. Hello. Green Schwarz are speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor here. Are you still on the Academy grounds by any chance? As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> no need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. You know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker. So could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? <sighs> all right. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the Academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of Class 7. Mwah. 
W wait a second. When did I become the... <laughs> Another task, Dum Dum Rain. <laughs> <laughs> she really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Of course. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks. Yeah, Reen is a big old do-gooder, definitely. <laughs> Alright, I guess I better start looking for William. But where do I even start? She could be almost anywhere. I should probably ask a couple of the others to uh, help. I doubt I'll accomplish uh, much just checking places at random. Hmm? Come to think of it. I haven't gotten Crow's number yet either. I think two other classmates would be enough for this, though I should remember to ask him when I get a chance. Ooh. So, depending on who we pick, the scene that we'll see will be a bit different. Well, I think considering the age and of course the napping history, I think he will be a logical choice. And who else? I am tempted to ask Eustis because he's so extremely suspicious about her, so helping or learning more about her. I think he would use uh, both his hands to grab that uh, momentum. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I think it's gonna be funny. <laughs> Okay, I get it. It doesn't sound good to leave her alone. Hmm, I imagine it's such a change of scenery for her that she's just walking around taking it all in. Yeah, I think you're right. I thought she left the academy grounds yet, though. So, we should be able to find her. I'll just have to think, if I were new here, what would seem the most interesting? And check out all those places. Roger that. We really need to get her back uh, to the dormitory at once. Yeah, I'm thinking the roof of the building or the old schoolhouse. Because those are the two places I expect William to be. Now, this is what I was looking for. Yeah, it does seem that everybody is still at their uh, old location. But of course, a few uh, <laughs> quest uh, markers now on the board. Alright, better go start straight away. Hm. Did we just get lucky and pick the right one? <laughs> wow, so this is the herbal bike everyone was talking about. I wanna try it. <laughs> I need some more fine tuning before you'll be able to do that. Yeah, you do have the option of riding alongside me, however. I'm always willing to take uh, cute little ladies like you for a ride. Really? Hmm, I kinda wanna have a race though. Wanna see if Lemmy is faster than your bike? Hmm, I don't know what this Lemmy is. But it takes some guts to challenge me to a race. <laughs> now we're really starting to take a liking to you. It didn't take long for those two to hit it off. Hmm, those two know how to take care of others. Oh, hey there. What's up? Truth is, Reed explained to George that instructor Sarah asked them to drag William back to the dorms. No way! There's still plenty I want to do. If that's how you're gonna play it, then I'm not gonna let you catch me. Our race is gonna have to wait. <laughs> Very well. I look forward to seeing you around again. Oh, for sure. Catch you later. Wait, wait up, Milliam! And off she goes. You could have at least pretended to try and catch her, Angelica. Reen, sweetie, surely you've realized that I always side with my lovely ladies? I have to say, though, she's even more peculiar than I'd heard. Yeah, I really like to see this Lemmy she keeps talking about, too. <laughs> Tell her that she's always welcome here for us, will you? <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's go search somewhere else. Oh, 
so that was Milliam. Well, let her know that she can stop by whenever she wants. Next time, I'll be sure to have some snacks to spare. Oh my, what a cutie she was. I'd welcome her into my harem with open arms. Actually, wait. I suppose it would be a criminal offense. Do you ever try thinking about what you're saying before you say it? Oh, not to worry, I'm a proper law-abiding citizen. Besides, waiting for a young bud to ripen and burst into bloom really waters my garden. Well, I'd love to stay in chat, but this conversation has been thoroughly distressing. Oh no, I want to hear more about her watering the gardens. Hey, I wouldn't mind seeing this Lemmy for myself either. Think she'd mind if I look to get apart? I mean, for the sake of engineering. Oh, she would definitely not allow you to do that. Alright, let's go quickly by the old schoolhouse. And then the next episode we can go by the other two locations she will be checking out. Yeah, and that way, after we did the last location, I'm pretty sure it will go straight into the dormitory event, then we can continue that as well. And then tomorrow with the free day, we can start talking to everyone once again before heading down to the old schoolhouse. The same formula we always have for every free day. Not assume like she's here. All right. Let's go between the benches. No. All right. So. For now, we're going to leave it here. Next time, we're going to go search more for Milliam. We already know she's going to be at the gymnasium. And what's the other one at the field? I think it was. So we're definitely going to see her there. And uh, After the gymnasium, I probably want to check out the roof of the school building as well. Just to make sure that she isn't in other places besides the quest locations. Because you never know, there might be other conversations to be had. And if that's the case... It would be right. amazing and I would want to see that. So, that's for next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we head in to our free day once again. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>